There's no internet access. Let's enable this option. And here you can see over 150 Mbps of internet running on my computer. Today we'll be looking at the different ways that you can use to provide internet to your PC and laptop by using a regular smartphone. One of these ways would require you to use a USB charging cable and the other one does not even require that. Both of these methods should work for you whether you have an Android smartphone or an iOS device. So you need not worry about it working out for you. I'll also share with you a simple hack to better your internet speeds on 4G. So you can see right over here I have no active internet connection on my laptop. For the first method I'll be using this Android smartphone. Let me quickly plug this USB cable right over here onto my laptop. Let me also plug it into my phone. Now that I have my Android smartphone plugged into my computer, let me go over to settings. Let us now search for the option USB tethering. Let me simply go ahead and select this option. Now once we are here, we just have to enable this one option which is called USB tethering. Now once you have it enabled, your computer should immediately recognize it. And you can see I have my internet running on my laptop from my mobile. So yeah, I mean it's that easy to provide internet access to your laptop or your PC through your mobile. Now this very method is the same for an iPhone as well. Let me quickly plug in my iPhone and show it to you. As you can see, I have my iPhone plugged in. Let me simply head over to settings. Let's click on the option called the personal hotspot. And let's click on allow others to join to enable it. Let's click on trust, enter my passcode and done. And in the very same way, I'm sharing the internet connection to my laptop from my iPhone. I mean, yeah, so you can use this method, which is using a USB cable to use your smartphone's internet connection on your PC or your laptop. And it also works whether you're using an Android or an iPhone. So let's say that you don't have a USB cable at the moment and you wish to share your mobile's internet connection to your laptop or your PC. So there's also the second method that you can use to share your mobile's internet wirelessly. Let me show you how to do that. Let's head over to settings right away and let's search for hotspot. Let me click on it. And once you're here, you can simply set up a wireless hotspot from your mobile to share its internet connection easily. Let's simply enable it. We can also go ahead and set up our personal hotspot. Let's click on it. And you can see I've set up my name to each store and I also set up a custom password. And you can also do this in the same way. There's also this option of setting up a one-time data limit. Suppose that you're sharing this hotspot with your friend and you don't want them to overutilize it. So you can simply go ahead and set up a limit as well. Let's set up a limit of 500 MB per se. Let me click on it. Let's click on custom. Let's enter 500 MB and simply click on OK. So in this way, you can also set up a data limit for your personal hotspot. Let me connect my laptop to my personal hotspot. This is my personal hotspot. Let me click on it to connect it. Let's enter the password. Let's click on next and done. We have an active internet connection running on our laptop that too wirelessly from my mobile. And the best part about this method is that you can share internet to multiple devices at once. So this method also works in the iPhone as well. Let's go to settings. Let's click on personal hotspot and there it is. You can simply click on it to enable it and you can also change the password from here. And once you have the password changed and connected via your computer or your laptop. So yeah, that was about both the ways, the wireless method and also the wired method. You can use any of these methods, whether you have an iPhone or an Android device. Now let me also show you this quick trick to speed up your 4G speeds. And this trick helps in really optimizing your 4G experience. So to do that, let me head over to settings again. Let's click on our existing SIM. And there would be an option called the access point names. Now over here, there would already be a default APN setting, but we'll be going ahead and creating a new APN. Let's click on new APN. And there are a few options available. Now in order to find the best APN settings for your service provider, you can simply Google it and find the latest one and use it. Let me also do that. As you can see, this is the best APN settings that I found for my service provider and I'll simply go ahead and edit those. Let me simply click on save to save it and let's enable it. So let's check our speed right now. So this is my speed before setting up our APN and let's look at the speeds after updating our APN. Damn, that's really impressive. I mean, look at the difference in the speeds. So yeah, that was about both the methods of running your mobile's internet connection on your PC or your laptop. Hope you found this video helpful. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.